Hey, this is Andrew and today we're going to be talking about the properties of matter. We are going to talk about the properties of matter. Matter of fact, we want to find out how we can calculate density, mass, and volume. Alright? Um, a lot of um, students tend to have a problem with um, making the conversion and setting up the equation, but I have a trick that is going to change the way you look at calculating the properties of matter today. Alright? Are you ready? Let's get busy. All right, first things first. You drive a car? Okay, you know someone that drives a car? Okay, this is where they go. If they need to get their driver's license, ask them where they went, they will tell you that they went to the DMV. That's right, density, mass, and volume. So that's what we're gonna use for acronym today is DMV, all right? Now, real simple, here are the rules. Density tells me to divide. D tells me to divide, okay? Now, M is in the middle, and it tells me to multiply, but it also tells me it's always on top as the master, okay? So density divide, M multiply, and it means I'm always on top because I'm the master. V is a copycat. It does the same thing that um, D does. So let's get busy. So if I'm looking for, um, I want to calculate the properties of the density, for example, I would cover this. I put my hand over this, and then I have two other components that I'm looking for. So these are the variables that I'm going to use to find that one. Understand? So these two guys are going to help me find what's underneath my hand because I don't have this. All right? Look, so D equals what? And if M is in the middle and it's always on top, then the equation is going to be right. You got it. M over V. All right, now let's move down here. We're trying to find mass. I can't find it anywhere. I can't find it. Can you find it? No, I can't even see it. But these two guys are going to come together and tell me how to find my M. But remember, my M means I'm in the middle, so I have to multiply. So I have to multiply these two guys to find my M. So what? M equals what? D times V. Okay? Now. I come down here and I do the same thing. I cover up, I'll cover up my V and I'm looking for V, okay? But what do I need to do? If M is always on top, then that means my equation is gonna be V equal what? M over D. There you got it. So to find the density is D equal M, which is always on top, over V, and to find my M, my mass, then I know it's in the middle and I have to multiply, so M equal D times V. Now, V, I want to find my volume, so, and it does the same thing that D does. I said V equal M over D. All right? There you go. So look at it, for example. Now, here's a trick that you can use to help you to calculate not only the properties of matter, but you can also use it to calculate the properties of a wave. So look at this for a second. I want to find the properties of my wave. So what do I do? I use the same principle here. Now look at this. That is lambda. The kids call it the coat hanger. It looks like a coat hanger, right? And then um, the next one is going to be velocity, okay? The next one is going to be um, frequency. Now, the reason why I make the V like this is because I don't want you to confuse it with this volume, so I put a dot inside the middle of it, okay? Now, I use the same principle, same principle. So let's say, for example, the same principle I used to find D, I'm going to use it to find wavelength or lambda. So which is gonna be what? If I cover up, if I cover up my lambda, that means I have two of these guys left open, right? And they are going to tell me how to find what's underneath my hand. If V, just like M, is always on top, my equation will be, you got it, V over F. Wonderful. Now, I need to find my speed or my velocity, and I'm going to put SPD under here to denote that it's different from volume. Okay, so you wouldn't confuse the two. So now, if I cover this up, and I have two other components open, which tells me V is in the middle, just like M, that means I have to multiply. So, lambda times F, or frequency. 
same thing. And then we move down here, we do the same thing. We transfer this knowledge from here to over here. V, we're copying what lambda does or what density does. And if V is on, on top, just like M, then we're going to say V over what? That's right. You got it. Correct. So look at that. I use the same principle to calculate two different properties or three different properties or six different properties using one technique. And all I need to know exactly is what are the players and who goes on top and what am I calculating. All right, so that's exactly how you calculate or the equations for calculating the properties of matter and the properties of a wave. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is this. How do we pick out those questions or pick out the key element from the question? How do we pick out the key element from the question? How do we know when it's asking for density? How do we know when it's asking for mass? How do we know when it's asking for volume? How do we know when it's asking for a wavelength or um, velocity or speed or frequency? How do we know that by reading the question? Here we go. 